Guys, uh, we're back again. Uh, Casey here, Detroit Rebuild Specialist. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to replace your injector pass-through seal. Alright, you got six of them here. Both into your cam frame housing. Uh, normally, when they go bad, you'll see oil all around them. Okay, it'll be running down. The wind will blow it. The fan will blow it. It'll be all over your truck. Okay, uh, not to be mistaken from a cam frame housing gasket leak. Okay. But uh, that's a whole other story. Today we're going to do the injector pass-through seals. All right, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, first thing you want to do today, we're going to do number, what is this, four? We're going to number four, so we're going to take this injector harness and get it out of our way. Okay, twist it and pull it out. All right, we're just going to tuck that back. All right, over here's the tools you'll need. Torque wrench, the fuel line socket, 19 millimeter wrench, and a... Uh, well, we got a quarter inch ratchet. We got a three eighths ratchet here. We use a 10 millimeter. Your injector pass through seal and a piece of Scotch Brite to clean it up. All right. First thing we're going to do is bust the line loose. All right. Take your 19, bust it loose here, hit it. This is a very simple job, guys. The only problem you'll have doing this by yourself is when you get back to number six, um, that's a pain in the ass with all these lines, not to mention the engines back towards the uh, rear of the truck, or the cab. Um, and also when you go to crank this, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. All right, next you're gonna have to have your special fuel line socket. All right, if you try to get this with a wrench, you're more than likely gonna strip it out. Actually, I take that back, you are gonna strip it out. Um, these get pretty tight over time, so like I said, use the right tools. There's the snap-on part number. And uh, there we go. All right, so you want to stick it on here. All right, bust it loose. All right. Now, once you have it loose, you don't have to use the socket. You can use your wrench then. But that first initial, uh, let me swap sides with you. I'm used to working on the right, <laughs> this side over here. There we go. Yeah, once you bust it loose, you can use your wrench. All right. Take that out. You're gonna have a little bit of fuel pour uh, pour out of here. No big deal. <clears throat> like I said before, guys, if you want us to show you how to do something, leave us a comment. Uh, call me. Whatever you want to do. Um, we're going to try to do a lot of videos for you guys. All right. We've got it loose. We're just going to pull it straight out now. Okay. You are going to have some fuel pour out. No big deal. All right. Once you've got your fuel line out, you want to zip off your two bolts. Pretty easy. Make sure you're in reverse if you're using impact wrenches. You will strip it out. Again, we're doing this out of chassis, just for video's sake, but this is just as easy to do in chassis as it is out of chassis, okay? This one wasn't leaking, but like I said, just showing you. All right, so then you want to take a little bit of Scotch-Brite, all right? You want to clean this up, all right? There's going to be some grit and grime on there, all right? Hit it with your Scotch-Brite, get it nice and clean. You don't have to take a bucking wheel to it. A lot of the stuff on Detroit especially under warranty, will void the warranty if you use uh, if you use a buffing wheel. Detroit does not like people with buffing wheels. So, <clears throat> to do that, you want to spray a little brake cleaner, starting fluid, whatever you want in your rag, wipe it down. All right, nice and clean, okay? We'll grab our new seal. <clears throat> on this seal, notice there is a top and a bottom. It says top on there. There it is, right there. Anyhow, having a focus problem. That's not brain surgery. Make sure the top goes to the top. Simple as that. All right, stick it on there. Get your bolt started. Now, here's the key. You do not want to tighten these up until you get 
your fuel line started, okay? Because you'll notice this thing has some play in here. It's designed like that to get your fuel line started, okay? In another video, when we, do, when we show you how to uh, replace an injector, we'll show you why this is so important um, to keep this loose, okay? All right. You should have this already lubed up. You really don't have to clean this. Shouldn't be anything on it. It's on the inside of the engine. Push it through. Get your cap started. Now this you're gonna have to use a little bit of force, okay? I use my wrench. I put it on like so and twist and push at the same time, all right? Twist and push until it starts. And then once it starts, you just run it back up. There is a torque for these fuel lines. I'm probably gonna stop giving out uh, torque specs. The reason why is Detroit Freightliner, they change torque specs from time to time. So if I give you a torque spec, the next thing you know, Detroit decides they don't like that and wants to change it, then I'm gonna look like a fool. So just tighten it up, all right? You gotta be a gorilla to break that bad boy or strip it out. This one you probably can, that one, just tighten it up. Don't go crazy. All right. I'm going to hit it. Bam. <clears throat> if you want to find torque specs, uh, well, if you got a login, you can go to DDCSN, but just tighten it up. If not, call your local Detroit uh, dealership. They might give it to you. All right. Then you want to go back. Now you can tighten up your pass-through seal. Okay. I personally tighten mine to about 10 foot-pounds, but like I said, don't take my word for it. What was that book back in the day? Reading Rainbow? <laughs> All right. So we gotta take this, tighten it. These do strip out easy, guys, so do not go crazy with these. get an extension I'm gonna grab an extension guys give me one second all right here we go I want to get, get myself off that fuel rail I mean that fuel line. Here we go. That's all it takes. If you strip these out, bring it to me. We'll drill it out and put a Healy Cool kit in there for you. If you hit it with an impact, you'll probably strip it out. It'll be leaking. No big deal. We can fix it. All right, plug your injector harness back up. Now at this point, you've broken the seal in your fuel system, so you're gonna have to have some type of a priming pump. Um, we have one that we made. Um, if you don't have a priming pump, you can use starting fluid, it's not recommended. I'm not telling you to use starting fluid. We all know what that can do. Um, but if you don't have a priming pump and you wanna do this, you can start it up with some, with some starting fluid. So that's it guys, very simple. Um, Again, if you don't feel confident doing it, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, give us a call. Detroit Rebuild Specialist. Uh, look us up on Facebook or Google. Um, we're here to answer any questions you got. All right, guys. Thanks.